Hello, elementary school students across America and on United States military bases around the world. It's Michael T. Mondek back with you on a Wednesday, coming to you virtually from Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio. As you know, I've been coming to you virtually every day, reading one picture book to you, your parents, and your teachers. I like to start with a teaser as to what I'll be reading, and here is that teaser for today. Now, two weeks ago, I introduced you to Thomas the Tank Engine. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a green engine named Henry, whose biggest fear was that a raindrop could ruin his paint. As a result, he was shut up inside a tunnel. The Reverend Wilbert Aldry wrote the storyline to a sad story of Henry that we Americans title, Come Out Henry. All aboard. <clears throat> Once an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. It went into a tunnel and squeaked through its funnel and wouldn't come out again. Now, the engine's name is Henry. His driver and fireman argued with him, but he would not move. The rain will spoil my lovely green paint and red stripes, he said. The conductor blew his whistle till he had no more breath and waved his flag till his arms ached. But Henry still stayed in the tunnel and blew steam at him. I'm not going to spoil my lovely green paint and red stripes for you. Then along came Sir Topham Hatt, the man in charge of all the engines on the island of Sodor. We will pull you out, said Sir Topham Hatt, but Henry only blew steam at him. Now everyone pulled except Sir Topham Hatt because, <coughs> he said, my doctor has forbidden me to pull, but still Henry stayed in the tunnel. Then they tried pushing from the other end. Sir Topham Hatt said, one, two, three, push. But he didn't help. <coughs> My doctor has forbidden me to push, he said. They pushed and pushed and pushed. But still, Henry stayed in the tunnel. At last, Thomas came along. The conductor waved his red flag and stopped him. Everyone argued with Henry. Look, it has stopped raining, they said. Yes, but it will begin again soon, said Henry. And what would become of my green paint with red stripes then? Thomas pushed and puffed and pushed as hard as ever he could. But still, Henry stayed in the tunnel. Eventually, Sir Topham Hatt, even Sir Topham Hatt gave up. We shall take away your rails, he said, and leave you here until you're ready to come out of the tunnel. Now they took up the old rails and built a wall in front of Henry so that the other engines wouldn't bump into him. All Henry could do was to watch the trains rushing through the other tunnel. He was very sad because he thought no one would ever see his lovely green paint with red stripes again. As time went on, Edward and Gordon would often pass by. Edward would say, beep, beep, hello. And Gordon would say, boop, 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 serves you right. Poor Henry had no steam to answer. His fire had gone out. Soot and dirt from the tunnel had spoiled his lovely green paint and red stripes anyway. How long do you think Henry will stay in the tunnel before he overcomes his fear of the rain and then decides to journey out again? And that, my friends, is the story. I want you to join me again tomorrow at the same time on the same channel.